right, hey, what's going on everybody? As you can see behind me, got a couple beehives here. I'm so excited to give this new video update. I haven't done a beehive video since winter. It was a kind of a disappointing update where I had lost some hives and everything, but things are so different now. I am actually in Georgia. I am in North Georgia. Um, if you're familiar with any of my hunting and fishing videos, they all are coming from the Carolinas. And this is the first video I'm bringing to you from North Georgia and uh, I've got some exciting things to do. I'm going to be splitting a hive. I've got these two here. One's doing tremendous, one's doing okay. I'm gonna split the tremendous one with a mated queen that I've got. I'm just gonna do some cleanup work. I'm gonna take a look at some different things. I just wanna take you along with my journey as I'm beekeeping. Again, since the last update, which was in winter back in North Carolina, things have really changed. Things are going pretty good here. I installed Two, what I did was, I, I got here in North Georgia, um, kind of late April, late in the game in the beekeeping world, and, and a lot of the live bees were gone as far as for sale. I got a hold of some packages. I couldn't get a hold of any nukes, and um, I got a hold of some packages. What I did with the beekeeper was, I doubled up my packages with just one queen. So basically, I got four packages, two and two, and then one queen for each set of two, which made these two hives right here. That was the Easter weekend that it dipped down into the teens in some parts of North Georgia, and it was in the 20s right here. And um, all the bees, I shook and shook and shook. The bees made it, but all the bees that didn't get back into the hive, they all died overnight, came back the next morning, and uh, there was a lot of dead bees. There was a lot of dead bees. It was really a disappointment. But, um, you know, it's just, uh, it was an interesting time seeing all those bees, that cold snap, and little discouragement but I stayed with it and I'm only in my second year got these two hives churning away the one like I say it's churning away so good uh, I'm gonna go ahead and split it so give me a second I'll show you everything I've got everything I'm working with and then we'll go through this split and just go through a general inspection just to kind of give you my mid-June beekeeping update stay tuned it ought to be fun all right everyone so here we go um, I've got my smoker lit, lit and I'm gonna go ahead and build up some of the components of this new hive that's gonna be the split. So I'm gonna start by setting up a bottom board and the body, I'm gonna take all those frames out. This is gonna be my bottom board. Here is our new hive body. I'm gonna get that entrance reducer. This size here, or this size, this is, a, this is the only one right now I have of this size. I kinda of like it, it kinda of is in the between. So I think I'm gonna go with that one. Um, on this split. I'm gonna lay this down right here and then on with the brand new body. All right. I'm at least, at least gonna take out five, if not seven of these frames. So for sure, I'm just gonna take out everything but the outside edges. I am doing this perhaps a little complicated where I'm gonna be possibly taking bees from both hives. I'm not gonna have them open at the same time, but there's a, there's, a, there's a method to the madness. I don't wanna completely split this one in half. I could, but I'm thinking I'm gonna do about, of the split, three quarters are gonna come from here and a quarter are gonna come from that other hive. That's my plan. So on this hive and a lot of bees, a lot of bees. All right, it's exactly what I was hoping for. Yes, this is a super. I know I had a super on top of a deep, but this deep is acting as a super. Uh, I'm trying all kinds of different things as I learn through this uh, beekeeping. So, so really, I don't even have to shake here because I know I want some of this drawn out comb in there for sure. Some of this drawn out comb I know that I want beside of the brood chamber of the new colony. So I don't have to do any shaking right here. And the only shaking I'm gonna be doing is maybe some from these upper supers and then whatever I can shake in to get, uh, to make sure I don't send the queen over here on this side. So I'm not sure how much more I wanna do. That's four, I can, I still uh, am lacking six. I don't wanna take everything out of here. I may do one more. Um, I 
want to do this quickly. I want to get get the queen excluder off, get what I can brood wise, and get it back on, and, and, and know that my queen's down in there. I don't have to find her with this method, but I don't want to linger too long. I'm going to go with the very middle first. It's probably the best spot to find some brood. Okay, there's some brood there. I don't want to shake this one off. Okay, there's a lot of brood right there on the bottom. Um, it's not a stellar amount, but it seems as though that's about all I've got. I want to give this a good hearty shake to make sure my queen is not here. So. Okay, the queen is not here. There's some brood. Actually, I uh, hope I don't see the queen here. All right, we're looking. I did a good shake. A lot of brood. A lot of brood here. This is a good one. There, so that's it. So I've got two good brood, a little bit of drawn out comb, and that's it. I'm not taking anything else from this colony. I'm going to move these over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wonderful. Now, one thing I wanted to do, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space here for another brood from the other hive to come in here in the middle. But since I have some space here, I'm gonna go ahead and start shaking some bees from my supers into here. Not many bees, but some. This I'm considering a super. On top of this excluder, even though it is a deep, I'm considering it a super. Just to have the right space. Loaded with bees. I was thinking about shaking, but I think I'm just gonna leave it off. I'm just gonna leave that here. I don't need to really go any further with my inspection. I see lots of drawn comb, a lot of put away honey, a little bit of capped honey too. I'm excited about that. For how late I got in the game, this is great. I'm actually seeing some capped honey that I'm gonna get to extract. So that's kind of cool. Um, this year is not about honey for me. It's about building up an, a, a new you know, operation here in my new home in uh, North Georgia. So pretty excited. No need to go into it. I see a little bit of everything I wanna see. I wanna get this split done okay. now. We're gonna move on to this other hive. This is gonna be my new lid for the new hive. We can set it up here. This is going to be my new propolis screen, which I love these. And uh, here we go, got my tool. We're gonna to move on in. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need three frames from this hive. I'm thinking, I'm depending on the, the brood, I may go two brood, one food, or I may go one brood, two food. Don't know, we're about to find out. Same situation here. I've got a deep acting as a super. I already know I could get some food from here if I want to go ahead and do that, but I think I'm gonna decide on my brood first. I have an excluder so I can very carefully set this stuff down just fine. Here. So, pretty cool. Now, with my excluder and my brood chamber. So I'm gonna take a real quick look here, quickly as I can. This is a smaller hive in number. I want to be real careful not to go crazy, but I need at least one brood from this hive. Okay, there's a good looking frame of brood. Oh yes, on both sides. Wonderful, wonderful frame of brood. Make sure there's no queen. That's three frames of brood right there. All right, I'm done with the brood there. I'm not messing around anymore. Um, 
this is actually great for this hive. This is an original honey store from a hive that was given to me. All right, I'm done. I'm done with the brood nest on this one. Um, I need to put a replacement. I need to put a replacement frame in there. I do need to do that. Make sure my brood chamber has replacement inside. I'll take from this this so so-called super, and I'll put it down in here for food for these bees. One. I need to do one more because these bees got to have their food. I don't want to take and then not replenish. So probably give them this one right here. This is an old one too. Very good. Put that down in their brood chamber. And now excluder back on. Um, very good. This is a lot of food in this hive, which is very good. Um, Go ahead and give, I think I am gonna go ahead and give another food to the new hive. Now this, I don't have to shake, of course, because if we're, this was above the queen excluder. Look at this. Look at this honey, I'm about to give this new split. They're gonna have plenty of stores. There we go. Or the shallow one, rather, which oh. I don't think. That one should be good. And I think what I'm gonna do is this super, has some drawn out food and some bees and it can't have a queen because there's no way it can have a queen because this was above the excluder. I think I'm just gonna put this whole super on the new split just to give them plenty of resources. So we'll see about that. I'm gonna go get that mated queen. So I've got my queen in a cage. She's got some workers and um, in there with her. Um, I've been taught, I've only done this a couple times because I'm only in my second year. I've been taught to um, obviously not release, but with the sugar to perhaps take some of it out to speed up the release, especially since there's a worker. And she is a marked queen, it looks like. So I am gonna do that. I'm gonna take some of the sugar out just to assist with the process. Um, and then obviously I'll come back and I'll come back in um, three to five days and see where we're at so go in here I do have a wire from another cage um, or I could just pinch the queen in between I think that's the route I'm gonna take just as long as it's a nice stable um, pinch should hold everything in place just fine and that should be good looks like the queen will be just fine there and there's a decent amount of bees also like I said before I'm going to be putting this other super on which has plenty of bees inside of it right here and there's honey stores in here as well and oh yeah that's a good fit there okay everything looks great right there and then I, I did buy some extra materials in case I need so I'll put another put another frame in here um, while I'm here I can kind of show you um, I think I can turn this camera kind of show you some of the some of the progress so this is this is why I'm excited um, it started off kind of rough for me with losing a lot of bees on that, that springtime uh, April, uh, Easter time um, but this right here is just within uh, the past two weeks and uh, this may not seem like much but when you're new to this kind of stuff this can get pretty encouraging right here this right here is just the past two weeks and so it's really exciting you see that obviously they've really drawn that out and they've slapped it full but then look at the other side here how gorgeous is that all that is capped honey so just thinking i mean that's not a lot but it's it's mine i'm gonna get this honey from this meadow right here and it's just really cool to think and uh the flow has not stopped so i've got more to get and it's just a really encouraging thing you know i'd say there's the equivalent of probably two full frames of honey in here and that's not to mention the, some of these stores that I just put in the split came from the super on that one hive back here. So that was all work they had done for me here. So they've done some pretty insane work. It's amazing what they can do. Um, let me get this here. This is a uh, propolis trap. I uh, really have enjoyed these. I've accumulated a lot of propolis, obviously depending on you know the types of trees in your area, but I have accumulated quite a lot. Now, 
we have three hives instead of two. How cool is that? So we've got uh, lots to be thankful for, lots to be appreciative for. Um, I will be coming back here in approximately five days. And so what we should have is a, uh, a queen who's been accepted, hopefully, I pray that's the case. She'll be accepted. She's going to be laying in this hive. It will be growing. And then uh, this hive should regain its strength very easily. This hive was, was very full. I wish I could have brought the camera right over and shown. It was very full, and that's the one I pulled two frames of brood and a little bit of food from. And then this hive back here, um, it won't regain strength, at, strength as fast, but I only pulled one frame of brood from that hive. I did pull more food from that hive, but that hive had more food than that one, only because I had supered up a deep into that one way before experimenting with this one. If any of that makes sense, great. <laughs> so. All right, hey guys, let me show you real quick. Now this looks a whole lot better right here. Pulled up earlier and it was a little in shambles, need to be cleaned up a little bit. And now look at what I got. I got me a little watering system over here. Look at that. Nice and organized. I got me the parent hive and the split, the other parent hive and the, and the split. So that little, that little, uh, Guy right there has a little bit of bees from both of those. So it's really cool looking at uh, uh, having three hives right here. And uh, just really excited about it. Look forward to giving y'all a new video soon. All right, what's going on, everyone? So day five since installing that queen into that split. If you uh, were paying attention, I kind of pulled some brood off of two different highs i shook some bees i did what i could i introduced that queen cage so i'm excited i just peeked over and the other two hives for the parent hives they're just churning away that's beautiful the split is a uh, very little activity however um that brood that's going to hatch out obviously is not a ton of bees and it's going to take her a little while to get laying and get cap and that takes time and i understand that so i'm just Hoping that she's hatched out, not hatched out, I'm hoping she's out of the cage and laying and accepted and all those wonderful things that we're looking for with a split. Um, hoping that the good Lord will help this uh, new split thrive and we're gonna get in here and check it out right now. So, stay tuned. All right guys, so here's our split. I'm gonna go in, see if that uh, queen is out of the cage, see if she's maybe started laying and everything, just check things out. And then um, I may go into these parent hives too, just to check and see how they're doing. But for now, let's check on this split. So the queen is out of the cage. There's our empty cage. A couple workers on it. Right there. Now, let's go ahead and look at one of these brood frames. I believe this was a brood frame. All right, so they're back filling this with a little bit of nectar. Now this queen is marked, I know that. The bees are very calm. So I'm assuming we are queen, right? These bees are extremely calm. There she is, and she is gorgeous. She's large. I'm gonna take her over here to you. She's got a nice white dot on her right here in the middle. See her crawling around right there? What a beautiful queen. This, nothing really more to see. She probably just got out of that cage today or yesterday. Um, so I'm not seeing any eggs right now. It's also not very sunny, so it's kind of hard to see. 
Um, there's not a lot of new comb on this split. A lot of old stores. Um, the only new comb has nectar in it. That nectar might have been in there before she hatched out, so she could just be walking around looking for a place to lay. And she may have laid in a couple of the empty slots. I was looking for an open comb full of eggs, kind of like you see in, in other times. So she's out of the cage. She looks beautiful. They were extremely docile, so they've clearly accepted her. I'll come back in seven days and um, we'll proceed on and see how she's doing. But I'm gonna go through these other ones real quick just to see. Propolis trap is doing wonderful. Okay. Lay this super down on the lid here. I could always shake um, more bees or do another frame of brood into this uh, split if I really wanted to on both occasions here. And I may do that. I may, uh, I may think ahead and just while I've got it open, I may do that. Um, that may not be a bad idea at all, actually to help boost these numbers again. Because while she was in cage, this one and that one, they were still churning away laying so and growing. So that may not be a bad idea. All right, everyone. So uh, my battery cut out on me or something. Uh, if you missed, I, I know I got the, uh, the checking in on the split and all that on camera. Basically, look, the queen's out. She's roaming around the frames. The bees were so docile. And what I was going to say was, this is what I'm excited about. That uh, queen came from uh, Blue Ridge Honey Company um, up in uh, North Georgia. And I have watched a lot of the videos by Mr. Benny on YouTube. Well, I, so I now live in North Georgia. That was the whole thing I was going to talk about. Uh, the way things have uh, happened, some life change. I now am in North Georgia. And so this is my first video to y'all from North Georgia. So all my beekeeping, all my public land hunting, all my fishing that was back in South Carolina, upstate South Carolina. Now it's all going to be in North Georgia and so I'm, I'm already extremely excited to get a summertime scouting video. I'm going to be learning new land I've never hunted in my life. Mountain land, national forest, all public just like you know me and uh, I'm excited about that. I can't wait to got Onyx downloaded for Georgia. I've been pinning places and scoping out the map. Um, tens of thousands of acres of National Forest, WMA, all this good stuff right near my house. So already looking forward to that. Already looking forward to fishing in Georgia. But hey, now beekeeping in North Georgia, which is top notch. One of anyway, the queen that I got from uh, Blue Ridge, that queen is um, beautiful. The, the bees are doing wonderful. And so I went ahead and checked the parent hives. Well, as I was checking the, the, the hive, if I could point at it right over there, my best hive in the yard Man, their numbers were insane. So I went ahead and took another brood and I took a pollen. I got to thinking about my split. I don't even know that I gave them much pollen, if any, which was a mistake. So real quick, I popped the split back open and I put an, another frame of brood and a frame of a ton of pollen and some honey. So the split now has a queen that's out of the cage, a decent number of bees, a ton of food and a ton of pollen. So they, they should be good. Parent hive number one up front was doing outstanding. Parent hive number two, they were a little meaner <laughs> to me. I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't get that on video. They were, I mean, they were fine. Um, they didn't attack necessarily, but they were nowhere near as docile. And I really, that that parent hive, this back hive, um, was a hive that was queenless and and um, had a few cells and raised up their own queen. And man, it just. I, I'm just tell all I know is I have a queen from a reputable source and that hive that just got introduced and those bees were calm and then I've got a queen that's been in here for a little while naturally raised and uh, they were a little more mean so I'm, I'm already excited to learn about the beekeepers in the region of North Georgia but I'm very satisfied with the queen I got from Blue Ridge Honey Company and um, I'm super excited to be bringing y'all some videos from North Georgia so there it is, my summertime beekeeping update coming to you from North Georgia. Be on the lookout for more truth from the truck. 
be on the lookout for some summertime whitetail deer scouting videos, new land, new everything for me. It's going to be so new. I think that's what's going to make it the most exciting, honestly. Um, completely new, public land. Looking for some archery opportunities. And then um, if the good Lord's willing, we'll get some some better footage this year um, of some, some deer hunting and stuff. So really looking forward to it. Hope you enjoyed the beekeeping update. Like, subscribe, comment. Give me some pointers. I'm only in my second year of this. Maintaining these three hives is pretty awesome. I'm, I'm hoping I can overwinter and get into next year. And I've learned from Bob Benny on from Blue Ridge uh, on his YouTube channel that it starts in August. So I'm getting right to the, to the place where I'm getting ready to get serious about already looking forward to next year, basing it off of August of this year. So that's the plan. Hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.